Okay, today we are going to do a video on how to put these cutouts together. I purchased these from Amazon for um, my grandbaby first birthday party and I realized that when I opened it up it looked like it was difficult to put them together but really they're very easy to put together so I decided I will make a quick little video for anybody else that might be questioning, how do I put these together? Okay, so first we're gonna work on we're gonna work on this one. Okay, so when I received this in the box, this was not already glued on here. This part here was separate, so it comes um, flat. And it has like a little piece that was that was right in here that you just push out. Okay, and so this side, you just put the double-sided tape on this side, and then you fold this over. So you double-side tape all of this side over here, and then you stick it on the back of this. Then you fold this over. You have a cut on this side, so you fold it away from the cut. And then this part, this part right here, you just fold it over like this so it can make the sand stand up. This is just to hold the sand in place. So first this is like this, it's flat. You bend this over and then you pull this down to go into this little slit right here to make the sand stand. And that's it. And it's ready to go. See? And if it's seem too wobbly because it's a windy day or something, you could use rocks or sandbags to put on the back of it to, so it won't fall down or the wind won't blow it down. Okay, let me show you the other one. Now also with this one, when you when you tape this down on here, it comes with double-sided tape. When you tape it down, if it's if it's like this big, then you want to have it like like around an inch um, from the bottom from taping it. Actually, like a half an inch from the bottom. That's just for it to stand up easily. And it'll tell you that on the instructions. Now, if it's taller, like three feet, then you're gonna make it um, like one inch. The smaller one's a half an inch from the bottom. And you take it down. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna be doing JJ. Okay, now like I said, I had already used things and put them together, but I am, I'm still going to talk you through it to let you know how, how I did this. Okay, so just like the other one, um, this one, when I received it, it was, this was, this was flat like this, and it had little perforated pieces perforated pieces inside of these little slots here that look like a C. And so you push that out, you discard that, you don't need those little pieces away. And then right here on this side, on this side, you put the double-sided tape. As you can see, this is where the double-sided tape is. So you put that along the whole part here and then you tape it down. And because this one is so tall, you're gonna make sure that it's like an inch above the, the bottom of this. So tape it an inch above, and you just tape it all the way down, but an inch above the bottom. And then you just push it down real good. 
And then with, with this, there's a cut. See, there's like a cut on this side. So you wanna bend this away from the cut. So you bend it over like this. And then the same as with the other one, this piece here. And you can put some tape right here also to keep that more flat. But this piece right here, you just lift it up and you use it to keep this big piece in place. And the same thing with this little one here. You lift it up and you put it in a little slot to keep it in place. And then that's it, basically. Now I have to put some more double-sided tape on this one here. Push this one down more, and if the tape that you that came with it, if, if it isn't strong enough, then you could use your own tape. You know, some of the tape that's a little bit stronger to make sure it doesn't come up loose. That's it. So that's JJ, and then you also have. Here is the bus. Now with the bus, they gave you two. There's two of them. One on that side and one on this side. And that's just so you can make it more sturdy. I'll be back. Okay, so like I was saying, um, on, on the bus, it has two, it has two of these. And so with these, um, it's the same way like the other ones are, but you just put one on each side to make sure that it doesn't fall over. So, um, just like the other ones, let me show you a good double-sided table also. Okay, just like the other ones, these ones, these ones came flat also, and on these ones, it wasn't none of the, the stuff, it wasn't none of the, uh, the perforated stuff that I had to throw away, but you do just have to push this part out of that. Um, so, the cut, the cut is on this side. So you want to put the double-sided tape, the cut is on this side, so you want to put the double-sided tape on the same side that the cut is on, and you want the double-sided tape to be all along the, the, the length of the stand, but on, the, on this side, on, not this side, but on this side, the side that you're going to tape onto here. So I'm going to show you, this is the double-sided tape. I'm going to just put an extra one right here. side that has a cut on it and then just like with the other ones you bend this away from the cut this way and then this part here just like with the other ones you bend it over and you put it so it can hold the stand in place You can, let me show you this part right here. Okay, right here on this on this bottom part, 
You could put some double-sided tape right there also just to keep it more so in place. You put the double-sided tape on the, op on the opposite side along the length of this whole stand. And then you fold it over. And this little piece right here, you can put double-sided tape at the bottom right here of this little piece right here. For this to stay in place. But this piece right here is where you're going to fold it down to hold this part. To hold this part in place. So you fold it down. And then this little slit right here. You just put this in between the slit. You the slit, put it right in between here to hold this in place. And of course, the same thing for this side. You can put some double-sided tape right on this part here to hold it in place. Then this part right here, fold it over to hold this part in place, just like that. And there you go, your stand it's all nice and ready and you just stand it up like that and like I had stated before if you want to put some sandbags in back of it or even on the front or anything just to hold it in place more you can but this is sturdy it's sturdy if it's not a windy day if it's a windy day then you might need to add some extra stuff to make sure it doesn't blow over but other than that it will stay in place and it'll look beautiful and to breathe. Alrighty, thanks for watching. I'll show you some extra pictures of how these look at the um, party that I gave for my grandma.